So with Honeycomb, we're enabling this style of rapid, agile development that the internet has been used to for so many years on this new generation of tablet-sized mobile computers. So today, I'm going to show you some of the new features of this platform that we've designed, specifically keeping in mind the creation of amazing apps that are optimized for tablet-sized computers. So let me start by giving you an overview uh, of Honeycomb. And uh, first, what you'll see is that we've revamped how you navigate uh, in a device with a larger screen like this. So if you look at the bottom left of the screen, you see that there's a back button, there's a home button, and there's also a new button that's dedicated to multitasking. So when I tap that, you'll see visual previews for uh, some of the applications that I was using recently and, it's, and the state that they're in, so it's actually really easy to switch back and forth. Over here on the bottom right, you'll see the notifications and systems status area, which I'll talk about uh, in just a little bit. And the rest of the screen is dedicated entirely to applications. And the home screen is actually a really important part of our developer's story. It's not just a warehouse full of apps. It's an application development platform in itself. And I'll talk a little bit about that. For example, widgets, as we call them, and by the way, the widget system is the same that's been hugely popular in Android phones, can now be backed by collections of data. And these collections of data can be visualized in some interesting ways. So right here, you're seeing my Gmail inbox that I can scroll through. You also see my calendar. I can even scroll through them together, and it's just really easy with multi-touch support. If I move over here to this home screen, I have a grid widget for, for my bookmarks. And if I scroll once again, I have what we call a stack widget that allows me to flick through different things, for example, Major League Baseball uh, highlights or my books over here or some YouTube videos that are popular today. And I can even sort of do this together and actually have a lot of fun with it. So there you go. So these widgets are sort of pre reusable um, pre-built components that developers can use to bubble up important information to the home screen. From a user's perspective, what really matters is, despite all of the clever computer science that we have to enable the smooth experience that you just saw, it's really just about quick and easy access to important information.